Hi, I'm Richard Wiseman, Professor of Psychology at the University of Hertfordshire. Psychology is all about studying how you think, how you feel and how you behave and then using that knowledge to make the world a better place. I began my career as a professional magician and lots of my work involves studying the psychology of illusion. Today I'm going to share some of my favourite optical illusions with you and explore the psychology behind them. This first one was created by psychologist Roger Shepard. The two tabletops look like they're very different sizes, but in reality they're actually identical. And these rings are glued together, but when you rotate them they seem to spin around on top of one another. This next illusion is a classic and was created around the turn of the last century by psychologist Joseph Jastrow. Boomerang B looks much larger than Boomerang A, but place B above A and now B looks smaller. Put it back again and now B looks larger. In reality, they're the same size. These sorts of illusions are fun, but they also reveal important insights into the human mind. Take a look at the next one. This looks like a normal mask of Albert Einstein, but when I twist it around, it seems to move in strange directions. Why? Because you are actually looking at the inside of the mask. In order to work efficiently, our minds often make assumptions based on past experience. Faces are usually convex, and so when people see the Einstein mask, they assume it's the type of face they've encountered before. In doing so, they trip themselves up. Take a look at this picture. In a moment, there'll be a brief flash, and there'll be some changes in the picture. Then there'll be another flash, and it'll go back to this picture. Can you detect the changes? Here we go. Did you spot the child running out into the road? Or see the bus changing colour? Or the disappearing and appearing buildings? Most people miss at least one of the changes. We all like to think we're really observant, but in reality we tend to focus our attention on quite a small part of our surroundings, and so we see far less than we realise. All of these illusions tell us something important about the human mind. We're not born with a manual and so we don't really know how our minds work. And that's why psychologists conduct research. Because when you understand how the mind actually works, you can use that knowledge to help improve people's lives. For example, to make them happier, to be more successful and to build healthier relationships. And here at the University of Hertfordshire, we study all of those topics and much, much more. And we look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.